Hey, hello YouTube. I am Karan from Bharat, and in this video, I am going to take a challenge to make a timer in batch. So here I have launched Top Watch by Cutter Surya. So we are going to try to make this same thing in 10 minutes. So I am not going to launch Top Watch right now. So let me prepare some settings and create a new file and let me set some things here. Okay. I don't want to go to off screen. Okay, I think that's enough setup. So let me save the file first. And no, I don't want to go in my Arduino project. I'm working on some electronics project also. So let me save it at desktop, create a new folder, name it as let's say timer and then let me save the file as timer.bat and as the file will not use any other batch dependencies so I won't use any other so let me enlarge the screen font size and you, so you can see it clearly so you can see all the shortcuts here and I'm going to start the clock so let's see we can do it in 10 minutes so with the clock starting, let's make some settings. Make the title as timer in 10 minutes. 5 kvc, okay. Enough. And let's create a loop. I think we need a loop for the time as the time is time has the nature as a loop or circle. So I am saving that with with the file and you can see the shortcuts here so 30 seconds are over so let's create a three variables first let's create a variable name hour uh, set it to zero and set a variable named minutes set it to zero and another variable named second okay second and set it to zero We have to write some conditions here if I think let me display the time on the title first so we are not going to display this kind of GUI output so I'm going to simply echo the output not on the title just clear the screen and let leave a blank line and then echo the output as our and then minutes and then seconds okay that's quite easy so we have saved that and in each loop we are going to increment the second by one because the fundamental unit we have is second here second plus equal to one so after that we have to write some conditions like if uh, let's say so let's say hour and please note that while using if command you don't need to surround it by double quotes if you are not comparing the strings here I don't want to compare the strings so I'm not using double quotes around it so I'm, I have to compare the numbers so I will I'm leaving it as it is so if hours we need to check the second if second is greater than 59 so what we are going to need is we're going to set the seconds as zero second is equal to zero and then we are we need to set the minute plus equal to one by increment by one and if the minute is again let me copy that and let's go below it and here let's put, put the condition if i think after incrementing the minute if minute is also greater than 59 so what we need is we need to we need 
to increment we need to set the minute let's copy that and paste that so it will be easier and it will save them some time minute is zero and we need to increase the hour and let's say a timeout of one second is enough for us because we are increment oh we don't need to buy you i think i have to buy solemn text editor because they are asking me so many times and control s again and i have incrementing the value of second by one so after each second delay we are incrementing the second variable and if the second is greater than 59 we are setting it to zero and increasing the minute and if the minute is also greater than 59 and we are setting the minute to zero and we are increasing the hour so the hour should hour has no limit because we are not limiting it so this can be a good sign so let me i think the timer is finished so let's launch it let me go to the desktop first and ask for the timer let me run the file and as you can see that the timer is going okay let me pause that it is showing the output as we want and the timer is quite good so let me pause here so you can see the increment and and here I'm back and you can see that after 59 seconds it should increase by one yep it is working as fine and the conditions that I have written are good so what I need is I need to format the code a little let me minimize that and let's start the clock again let's say let me make the screen size as let's say it should be at 40 uh, let's see 30 comma uh, 10 and we have forgotten to write one thing that if the value is less than 10 it should have an extra zero in front of it so as you can see that when the value is crossing the 10 it don't have an extra zero so we can program that so let's just say here for uh, let's use a for loop uh, we don't need for loop so let if I think we need a for loop for person percentage a in let's see values hour the name of the variables minutes so here i'm using a little of my technique so here i'm trying to write the code once and apply it on all the three so if so we need if we are using variables inside for loop so we need to enable the set local delayed extension the easy condition pensions at local delayed expansion and if uh, let's say we don't need to be surrounded by double quotes so if percent percentage a is less than 10 so what we need to do is we need to set the a value with a zero in front of it and that's all i think it will work fine so let me pause it because this loop will act on all the three variables so let me call that where was the project folder this is okay it's not working as we we want it to work okay if hour is less than 10 we need to set the hour with zero and exclamation okay that's what it should do so let me turn the echo on here and turn the echo off and pause 
so let me again run that what it is saying is okay it is also using that the codes that we have used so to remove the codes just use the tilde front of it and i think this will solve the problem oh okay we forgot i forgot too much thing so as i have read somewhere your mind is to create ideas not to store them just create innovative ideas and things i don't store things okay again again it is what it is used doing is okay it is crashing now okay it is adding zeros but after that it will become uh, more than 10 it should be become 11 should seems to be 11 it should be 11 okay we have wasted 10 seconds and thing appeared on the screen it may be because that local enable we forgot to write enable oh i am working with c and c++ these days more than the batch so i am forgetting things enable delayed expansion yep it should work fine now yep oh whoa, 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 whoa. it's adding it and yep it is adding as we need but we don't need here uh, let me think and i will come back whoops i forgot i need to turn the clock on so i just took a sip of water and i think the main problem that i am doing here is i'm adding a zero without checking if the first digit is already zero if slash i now i need to surround it by double quotes and then i need to check if zero comma one okay what i'm doing here is zero comma one is not equal to zero then we need to set this thing otherwise we don't need to set it okay i think i i need another bracket here how many brackets do i need uh, one more yep so let me see the timer let me use let use the font size a bit slash i is 0 comma 1 here we need a tilde and i think it should work fine now why it is crashing down on the road okay i now the brackets are balanced yep it's working fine right now so we have successfully i'm going to stop the clock okay press s the clock is stopped so you can see that we have successfully created a timer okay what is going on here so it should be greater than okay we are overwriting the values so let me start the clock again so at 8 minutes 34 seconds we have only one minute one minute and let me if slash i uh let's see second and zero comma one the first digit of the second variable is equal to zero then then set second is equal to second 
comma one and I think this should work fine. I am removing all but the first character here. So let me pause that and start it again. So it is working fine now. It should cross 10 and it should not flicker. So 8, 9, 10, 11. Yep, it's working fine. You can test this setup in your own PC. So that's all from my side. So this is how you can make a timer within 10 minutes in batch. So thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe. Please share this video with your friends and help us grow. Please subscribe. See you in the next challenge. You can comment the challenge in the comments field below. And if it is possible, I'll try to tackle those challenges. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.